All right, come on. Just push. I'm trying. He ain't coming. Just a little bit more. He's it's coming. It's coming. Just push. I am pushing. I'm fucking pushing in a minute. I got it. I got it. Whoa. 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 What the hell is what that? Is it? is it a boy or a girl? Uh, yeah, here you go. Oh. How? What the? Hello everyone, my name is Can't Do Games and welcome back to some more weird news. Um, before we begin this weird news, I'd really appreciate it as well if you could like this video and subscribe if, you, if you're not already. And click that bell to help support this channel and yeah, get me more views and just help me spread the laughter. <laughs> or just the weirdness, one or the other. Anyways, let's get into this weird news, shall we? Woman married a ragdoll and now has a baby. What? Uh, that is literally a ragdoll. What? What the fuck? Why? Wait a minute. Um, am I the only one that does this? Like, when I think of rag, when I hear the word ragdoll, I think of ragdoll physics. You know, from um, like video games and all that. <laughs> So, um, how? Like, did you go to Build-A-Bear? Or did you actually pop one out? I'm curious. <laughs> Just saying. I'm very curious about this. As the saying goes, love knows no bounds. <laughs> it fucking seems like it, yeah. And this certainly applies to, applies to a woman who fell in love with a ragdoll. Even ragdolls are getting more love than me. <laughs> I know some dolls do. <laughs> I think we all know, all know what them ones are. Dolls do freak me out. Luckily, though, this one, rag dolls don't freak me out because they don't look human to me. They don't look lifelike. It's the lifelike dolls that freak me out. Like Chucky, um, uh, Dead Silence, and all that. You know, them movies. Puppet Master. Um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's got wheels and everything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? It's just got fucking wheels on the back to move around. <laughs> that made me giggle. It's sweet. Congratulations on your baby, I guess, but... <laughs> it's a rag doll, <laughs> darling. The woman has found her a soulmate in a in the life size doll she calls her husband, and the pair have even gone on to have a baby. The 37 year old from Brazil said her mum made her the rag doll named Marcelo Marcelo after she complained about being single and having no one to dance with. Little did she realize it would be love at first sight, and after a few months of dating, uh, she fell she fell pregnant. What? They decided to tie the knot before the newborn arrives in a ceremony that was attended by 250 people. Yeah, probably half of them were like just therapists and doctors. Or just people just wondering what the fuck is going on. Unsurprisingly, the birth was a painless one, uh, claiming it just took 35 minutes. It was a wonderful day for, for me. Very important, very emotional. She told, he is a man I always wanted in my life. Married life with him is wonderful. She continues to say, he doesn't fight with me. He doesn't argue and just understands me. It's because he's a ragdoll. He doesn't speak. He hasn't got his own mind. He hasn't got his own personality or anything. You're just projecting your best. You're projecting your Prince Charming onto that. That's what you're doing. He also said he is a great, uh, great faithful husband. He is such a man and all women envy him. <laughs> I don't think they do, love. I really don't think they do. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that is actually more terrifying. What baby has that much hair and that much of a unibrow as a child? And where the hell are you? You are not in a hospital, are you? They wouldn't take, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't take us seriously. They really wouldn't. That's, I think that's like her bathroom or something.
and they made it look like a hospital. Seriously? Oh my god. It was because I didn't have a 4 dancer. dancer. I would go to these dances, but would, 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 wouldn't would always find a partner. Then he entered into my life, and it all made sense. Oh my god. She's actually quite pretty. I f she's, she's quite pretty, but yeah, she's um insane. The wedding was a wonderful day for me. Very important, very emotional. Uh, it rained a lot, but it was wonderful. But as, as is often the case, marriage isn't always easy. With the dull mum of one, adding, adding, he has so many great qualities, but the only downside is he's lazy. He doesn't work at all, because he can't fucking move. <laughs> it's a rag doll. I didn't use a condom. She fell pregnant and even gained weight as she eagerly wait awaited for a new arrival. Didn't her mother make the rag doll? And you said it, she didn't use a condom. Did your mother put a penis on the rag doll as well? Or or, or did you do it yourself? So many un unanswered questions. <laughs> she explained, I didn't feel the contractions in pain because you weren't giving birth. You were probably having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> or you just needed a poo and you thought you were pregnant. It's been cases of that where people thought they were pregnant but they just needed a poo. Look it up. I'm not even joking. Happy family much. <laughs> <laughs> Kid looks fucking like shocked. Like, how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> I feel sorry for her. I'm not taking a piss. It's just, it's just what it may. It's, I'm more intrigued to know what how, her mind's like. Like, why is her? Why is she like that? Like, I'm a person who gets really intrigued with people's disorders and solutions. It really upsets me when people say this is fake. It makes me me so angry. I am a woman of a character. My father, my mother taught me to be honest, to be a good person, and not to want to take advantage of anything. Mommy, my real boy. <laughs> okay, guys, that was some weird news. Um, congratulations to your new baby and your marriage. Well done. Honest, my my honest thing, because you know, I don't judge. I just this is entertainment. This is my reaction, and I'll just say what it is. I'll just say what I'm thinking. So if I offended anyone, I apologise, but I don't want to like dig a deeper hole in what I've done. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in tomorrow for another video. <laughs> don't forget to leave a like, please. Ciao.